गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे वी आर कॉन्टिन्यूंग विद आर चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन दैट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी ओके एज यू ऑल नो दैट डे बिफोर ये स्टे वी हैव डन फाइव एग्जाम्पल्स फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन एंड ऑन बेसिस ऑफ दो फाइव एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू टू डू द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन ओके इफ देर इज एनी डाउट देन आई विल बी टेकिंग इट ऑन सैटरडे now i am continuing with my chapter that is chapter number 15 probability here you will see that uh, first of all i i am writing here some points regarding probability okay so uh, as earlier i have told you the meaning of probability now i am just telling the some facts uh, regarding uh, probability so our fact number 1 is that the probability the probability please write it side by side probability of an event of an event lies between lies between 0 and 1 okay our uh, the probability of an event always lies between 0 and 1 where 0 and 1 are inclusive inclusive means that uh, probability can be 0 also it can be 1 also and it can be greater than 0 uh, also or less than 1 also so in short i am writing over here that probability of event is uh, greater than equals to 0 or less than equals to 1 i hope it is clear okay after that after writing this uh, please uh, i am repeating it again because this here this point is very much important okay i am repeating in hindi also that this probability of event ya to zero ke equal hoga koi bhi probability hai sirf isme nahi koi bhi probability hai ya to zero ke equal hoga ya zero se bada hoga ya fir one ke equal hoga ya one se chhota hoga okay then come to second point second point says that uh, uh, second point says that uh, there are two things one is probability of an event and second is non probability second is non probability and here you can see that i'm denoting my probability with p of e and here i'm uh, denoting my non probability with p dash of e that means here dash uh, says that it is of non probability okay एन इवेंट हैव प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी एक इवेंट के एक इवेंट में प्रोबेबिलिटी भी हो सकती है और नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी भी ओके सो इफ यू जस्ट डू द सम ऑफ बोथ प्रोबेबिलिटी और नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी का अगर हम सम करेंगे देन वॉट वी विल गेट वी विल गेट इट एज वन ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दिस फॉर्मूला दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी प्लस नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी इज इक्वल्स टू वन बिकॉज इन आर क्वेश्चन वी विल बी अप्लाइंग दीज फॉर्मूलाज ऑल्सो ओके then come to third point now third point says that as it uh, this we have read yesterday also still i am telling you that empirical formula okay uh, that this empirical formula or experimental formula we can say this is same only that, uh, that we have learnt yesterday experimental formula i am just telling the name that this formula can be uh can be said like this also that empirical formula or experimental formula of probability is favorable outcome is favorable out uh, probability of event is favorable outcome divided by total number of outcome okay so this formula we have read yesterday but i have not told the name of this so we can uh, say that empirical formula of probability wherever it is asked then you can say that probability uh, empirical formula for probability is probability of event is equals to favorable outcome upon total number of outcomes okay so please write it side by side now on basis of these three points we are starting with some examples today okay so i am right starting with example number 5 here in example number 5 it says the record of a weather station shows that out of the past 250 consecutive days its weather forecasts were uh, correct uh, 175 times okay i am erasing this i hope you have written this so i am erasing this so here in example number 5 what it says that 
the record of a weather station shows that out of the past 250 consecutive days its weather forecasts were correct 175 times so here i am writing the total outcomes as you can see that weather forecast uh, from 250 consecutive days we have to tell that means this is total number of outcomes given to us this is total number of outcomes given to us and that is 250 days then what it is saying its weather forecasts were correct jo correct weather forecast se the 250 days mein se wo kitne the 175 times that means i can say that this is correct weather forecast okay so i can just write this as event 1 also okay now in first part we have to find the probability we have to find the probability uh, that on a given day it was correct okay we have to find the probability of the uh, correct weather forecast that means we have to find the probability of event 1 so before writing the uh, uh, before write, doing this question we will first write the formulas as you all know okay so favorable outcome divided by total number of outcome okay so you will see that you will see that uh, favorable outcome here it is in event uh, 1 in in case of event 1 favorable outcome is 175 and total number of outcome is 250 so i have just applied the values over here in the formula and i got my probability of event 1 now you can just solve it and you will get the answer as i have told you yesterday also always solve your uh, answer till uh, decimal or convert this into simplest form don't leave right here only okay idhar tak leave mat karna after that it is saying what is the probability that it was not correct on a given day okay so probability that it was not correct on a given day now go not correct ka nikalna hai not not correct ka nikalne ke liye there are two ways first you can find uh, as correct weather forecast we have found now you can find of not correct by subtracting our to uh, correct from a total number of outcomes okay so i am finding for not correct weather forecast okay and uh, i am denoting this with event 2 so here uh, you can see that 250 minus 175 i will do and what answer i will get 75 times that means 75 times uh, it was not correct matlab uh, jab weather forecasting hui to 75 times uska correct nahi tha then uh, what we have to find we have to find probability of this event only that means probability of event 2 we have to find and formula is favorable outcome same formula so i'm not applying this over here as i i have applied in first part okay please apply formula at least once so uh, it's the answer this is one way second way is that second way of finding not correct only is not correct ka hi second way bata rahi hu no need to find of not correct weather forecast ki kitne times usne nahi uh, not correct weather forecast nikala jo bhi hai then what we have to find is uh, directly as i have told you that this is probability okay and if we have to find for not correct that means we have to find non probability so non probability nikalne ke liye as i have told you the formula and that is uh, sum of probability with non probability always comes one so we can just directly apply the formula and we can apply the value of probability over here and then non probability we will write it as it is and we will get the answer of non probability after solving this you will get the answer of non probability so the, here are two ways agar ye second way if it is still not clear i will tell you on saturday again again i am repeating first is ki pehle not correct nikal lo and then you can just apply the formula of probability second uh, second way is that you can apply the direct formula of probability and non probability and then we can uh, find the value of non probability in case of this and for non probability of this that will be the probability for second part only okay then come to then come to example number 6 
Now next example is that a tire manufacturing company kept a record of the distance covered before a tire needed to be replaced. The table shows the results of 1000 cases. Now here again you can see that total number of cases are 1000. So I can say that my total number of outcomes are 1000. Here, uh, here some distances are given and frequency on basis of that is given. Okay, so if you buy a tire of this company, what is the probability that it will need to be replaced before it has covered 4000 km? Now we have to find probability. Okay, uh, of we have to find the probability. Okay, so that it is need to be replaced before it has covered 4000 km. Why was 4000 km? Say, he didn't know that he was going to replace it. What is the probability? Hai? Okay, so for that you can see that uh, here uh, you can see that uh, for less than 4000 in table it is given to us that is 20 frequency is given to us so i am here writing my first part and that is rep uh, distance covered distance covered less than 4000 km the distance covered for less than 4000 km Frequency of distance covered uh, for less than frequency of distance covered for less than 4000 km and that is 20. Okay, now we uh, this is our event 1. So I am considering it with E1. Now we have to find the probability of event 1. Now we have to find the probability of event 1 and formula you all know that is favorable outcome divided by favorable outcome divided by total number of outcomes total number of outcomes so here i am just applying the formula that is 20 divided by 1000 and if you will just solve it you will get the answer as 0.02 okay then come to next part that is we have to find the probability that it will last more than 9000 km 9000 uh, km se zyada Wo last karegi. But then, uh, it will last for more than 9000. Okay. So you can see that in our table, more than 9000 km wale kon kon si hai. Last ki 2 hai. That means last 2 columns are for more than 9000. So we have to add frequencies of last 2 columns. Okay. So here, uh, we will write that frequency, frequency of distance covered distance covered more than 9000 more than 9000 km and that is you all know that we have to add 325 with 445 okay and after adding it you will get it as 770 so as we have to find probability for this so I am considering this as event 2 now we have to find probability for event 2 so uh, it's your choice if you have applied formula here, then directly put the values in the formula. After applying the formula, you will see that answer is 0 0.77. Then our third part is, now in third part it is saying, it will need to be replaced after it has, tire is need to be replaced after it has covered somewhere between 4000 to 4000 uh, and 14000 kilometer. Okay, that means, for uh, covering 4000 to 14000 you can see that second and third column is with us so we will write our frequency for third part that means of 4000 to 4000 kilometer to 14000 kilometer and that is 210 plus 325 okay so our answer is 535 now consider this as event 3 and then find e uh, probability of event 3 by putting our values in the formula. So this is the answer. I hope it is clear to everyone. Then come to next question that is example number 8. Okay. Now in example number 8 it is saying an insurance company selected 2000 drivers at random in a particular city to find the relation 
बिटवीन देयर एज एंड एक्सीडेंट्स मतलब उनकी एज के हिसाब से कितने एक्सीडेंट्स एक ईयर में हो रहे हैं ओके सो आई एम रेजिंग दिस नाउ सो फॉर दिस इन एग्जाम्पल नंबर एट यू कैन सी दू कैन सी द टेबल ओके हेयर इन द टेबल अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट टेबल वी विल सॉल्व आर दिस क्वेश्चन फुल क्वेश्चन सो हेयर एज वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी फॉर ड्राइवर्स ओनली दैट मीन्स टोटल आउटकम विल हेयर विल बी टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम हेयर विल बी टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम हेयर विल बी टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड ड्राइवर्स की यहां पर बात हो रही है सो so, इसका मतलब टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स आर टू थाउजेंड नाउ इन फर्स्ट पार्ट एज वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी वेयर एजेस ऑफ एटीन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन एटीन से ट्वेंटी नाइन ईयर्स के में जितने भी एक्सीडेंट हो रहे हैं हैविंग एग्जैक्टली थ्री एक्सीडेंट सो फॉर दिस वी हैव टू फाइंड सो फॉर एटीन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन ईयर्स एंड हैविंग एक्सीडेंट एटलीस्ट थ्री थ्री एक्सीडेंट हैविंग एग्जैक्टली थ्री एक्सीडेंट सो रिगार्डिंग दिस वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज सो यू कैन सी दैट according to this in the table value is you can see first you will uh, see from here that 18 to 29 is over here exactly three accidents are here so uh, like that drivers are 61 aise drivers kitne hain 61 okay now we have to find probability for this so consider this as e1 uh, event 1 and then you can just find the probability uh, probability by applying the formula and formula you all know and as i have told you that you have to write in each and every question the formula okay now formula is favorable outcome divided by divided by total number of outcomes total number of outcomes so here after applying the formula i will apply the values over here so uh, you can just solve it either make it into simplest form or make it into decimal form then our second part is where age is of 30 to 50 years and uh, accidents it takes place in this age that is having one or more accidents okay so for that you can see that uh, age is of 30 to 50 one or more that means this full uh, value we will take that means i am adding 125 plus 60 plus 22 plus 18 okay and we will get it as 225 so for this i am considering this as event number 2 and then we can find probability of event 2 so probability of event 2 after applying in this formula is 225 divided by 2000 you can just solve it then come to third part now in third part it is saying having no accidents in one year theek hai having no accidents means it, it has not given the ages age nahi di hui sirf no accidents wala column dekhenge and that is 44 4, no accidents wala column dekhenge so that is 440 plus 505 plus 360 okay if we just add them so we will get it as nearly about 1305 now we will consider this as event 3 and then we can find the values of uh, probability of event 3 okay so if we just find the values of probability of event 3 and then you will get the required answer now okay so on basis of these questions these examples you can just solve the exercise uh, exercise number 15.1 okay Uh, except question number नाइन and टेन you have to complete all the questions. If there will be any doubt, then we will be taking it on Saturday. And I will explain uh, left out examples on Saturday also. Till then you can just try exercise फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन कम्प्लीट ओके थैंक यू